Good afternoon, amigos, from, well, we can't tell you where from, but in today's video, we're talking all about flying budget airlines here in Mexico. Let's go. Okay, we have made it to the airport bright and early, ready to give you all of our uh, budget airline slash flying from Mexico City tips. But first, we are starving. We are really hungry. Get his own soup. Wait. That was, a, that was a joke for all my, my mis mexicanos. You get it, way. <laughs> okay, I have two airport tips for you. These are specific to Mexico City. The first is, I think the Interjet has some sort of deal with this particular airport. So the security line is full of Interjet tape and guidelines. And so our first time here, we were like, no, we're not flying Interjet. <laughs> So but we walked and walked and walked and... Say Interjet here. Yeah. Um, that's just like line for every general security. The second tip is that if you get here, um, I don't know, a little bit before your gate is ready, um, they'll just give you a hall to wait in. And this is where this airport's a bit different. This is the big waiting area that looks like a terminal, but there are no gates actually off of this. So this okay. is Hall B. Uh -huh. uh, and the gates are somewhere else, but as soon as your flight is assigned a gate, it's, it's yeah. close pro proximity somewhere on the hall that you've been assigned. But our, our first time here, we were like freaking out. Completely panicked, <laughs> an hour before our flight. We didn't have a gate, but uh, your gate will come. <laughs> <laughs> Ahorita. <laughs> so here are a few tips and tricks for booking a Viva Airbus. The first is the price you see originally doesn't include a seat. It really doesn't. And it is with you, if you pay with the Vive Airbus credit card. It also doesn't include all the taxes and fees, which sometimes are more than the actual ticket itself. <laughs> so uh, let's say you see the price for 500 pesos, which is exactly what we saw for today. Huh. It ended up being around eight or 900 by the time all the taxes and fees, mm -hmm. and then uh, choosing a seat. So yeah. um, you can pay to choose a seat. You can pay extra, the closer to the front of the plane you are, the more those seats cost. So we just book whatever's the cheapest uh, near the front. Also travel lightly. I think their bag fees are what really can get you on budget airlines mm -hmm. here in Mexico. Um, so we just, Everywhere we just really, but... Backpack, uh, except for Southwest. Which oh is, yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, but we just bring a backpack if at all possible. Um, print your boarding pass at home. I know Viva Airbus charges 50 pesos or $5, which that is a really crazy <laughs> exchange rate. If you print your boarding pass at the airport, so print that at home. Um, you can, or bring pesos, not dollars. <laughs> you, can, you can view the entire uh, week weekly prices. So if you're flexible in your dates of travel and the time you're traveling uh, that day, you may be able to find a cheaper option. Uh, I think that's it for the tips in terms of booking the flight. Um, I think so. We'll let you know all about how comfortable it is when we get on. Panaderia Vivo Aerobus. What's, what do they have on here that we always make fun of? Ah. Sopa de fideo or the uh, ramen noodles. Is it 6 a.m.? Who doesn't want soup in a cup? Would you rather pay for one of these or get a free ham sandwich on at the inn? Pay for one of these. <laughs> Preparation for our departure. Please fasten your seatbelt, stow your tray table in its compartment, and open your window shade. 
For safety reasons, smoking is prohibited during the... Hey, you tried at 6.02? It's not really impressive. <laughs> Let's go. Where are, we, where are we going? I can't tell you. Bye. Okay, amigos, we made it to our destination. Hill, Hill, Hillary, what up? We've what? already been outside. <laughs> yes. How would you rate the Viva Aerobus experience? I absolutely love Viva, Viva Aerobus. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. <laughs> but I think, in terms of a budget airline, and we keep saying budget in terms of like, it's a lot cheaper than Aero Mexico. Yes, a lot, I mean, a lot cheaper. I'm not really sure what, uh, what it, it's definitely considered a budget airline, I believe. Um, the only other budget airline we've really flown is Southwest Airlines in the United States, yeah. and we love that airline too. But um, yeah. I think the comfort of this, the plane, every plane we've been on seems brand new. Mm -hmm. And Viva yeah. Aero Boost is only 10 years old. I saw on their website they're celebrating 10 years. So I think um, their service has always been really great. Mm -hmm. Everyone's always been very, very kind to us. If you can travel light, and you can yeah. be smart about how you book, how you pay. Uh -huh. I think there are different options to pay. Um, the actual comfort of it is no different than any other airline we've ever flown. I think no, it's just it's, as I mean, comfortable. We don't fly, you know, fancy. We don't fly like right. Emiratus, or Emiratus, 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 Arthritis, whatever that nice one is. I think that, we've obviously <laughs> never been on it. I think Hillary had a good point that I think if you you could easily get frustrated. If you didn't know some of the extra fees, but usually when we see the prices, we know, okay, that is the price, that, but it's you, not you really the paid price. For a seat yet. Yeah, so just if you're traveling within Mexico, I think Viva Aerobus is a, an easy way to go if it's somewhere that you don't want to sit on a bus for 12 hours. Viva Aerobus. Final question. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Final question How does it compare to traveling? Uh, with the, at the in it? At the oh, why would you do this to me? <laughs> um, what has a strange obsession with at the in it? I mean, the, I can like run a marathon never leaving my seat on that bus. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I think I think at the in is better for so you short. You can't really compare them. It's better for short trips or maybe like four hours or less and yeah. flying a longer trip. And at the in is pretty affordable option, but again, I wouldn't want to take that they end it from Mexico City to like Merida or Mexico City. No, but all for right anything here, but under maybe four or five hours, I would definitely recommend using Ete Ene or another bus line. Yeah. Um, bus travel Mexico Luxury is, is what that is, is the class first, of that. First class. Opposite from Viva Aerobus. Um, but I think just the process involved in getting to the bus station is way easier than getting to the airport. I mean, we got there an hour and a half this morning, felt a little scatterbrained at the airport, but. I feel like the bus station is just way calmer. So for yeah. any trip under four to six hours, I would definitely recommend a bus. For anything over that, highly recommend Viva Bus. That is all we have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And we'll see you from our new destination. Mañana. Ciao. Adios.